Hello, everybody. Tom Nappy here, and we are joined by Cheryl Melody Baskin, known to many as Melody. How are you? I'm fine. Waiting the pandemic out. <laughs> Just like everybody else. Yeah. I understand that uh, you have a new book out. Um, can you tell us about your new book? And you're also uh, from Hopkinton as well, correct? That's right. That's right. Yeah, I... Um... I, I wrote Peace Dreamer, A Journey of Hope in Bad Times and Good. Wrote it during the pandemic. It um, helped to keep me grounded and sane. And uh, it helped me find tools to use to, you know, keep me grounded and to share them with everybody. And also to offer hope in the middle of all this. So somehow I went on some kind of spiritual journey as I wrote this. I didn't expect to write a book, another book. This is my fourth. Um, but uh, it really, because there was so much division, or there is still um, in the United States, racial division, political, social, and because of the pandemic, I was a mess along with everybody else. Um, lots of anxiety and everything. But somehow I was able to find a new meaning um, of what peace is and what love is um, as I was going through all this. And how can we find common ground between all of us, even if we don't agree with each other and, and things like that. And um, also, like I said, I used healing techniques to help me, you know, go back to my breath, to meditate. Um, you know, there's just so many things we can do. So one of the things I love to do is just help people. And while I help them, I'm helping myself, remind myself of, you know, how to keep myself together and how to stay present and all those good things. That's terrific. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background in writing? Is this your first book or have you written other books before? Yeah, this is my fourth book. And uh, much to my own surprise, I have them all here. Can I show them? Absolutely. All right. So my first book was written in 2016, Shift of Heart, Paths to Healing and Love. Um, I'm a musician um, and have been a musician for years and an educator. But something I've also loved to write. And uh, something happened in 2016 where I just heard an inner voice saying, you know, you've got some stuff to say, so why don't you you know, write an inspirational book that can um, motivate people and help them and give them some some techniques and tools. Um, so I wrote that, and as a result, I also created a Facebook community with the same name, Shift of Heart. I've got about a thousand people from around the world on it right now. And the whole purpose is to really live the, the meaning of this book, to support each other, to accept each other, to trying not to judge each other and, and that kind of thing. And um, so that was a great outcome of this little book. And so in 2019, I wrote Heart Dreamer, Stepping into Life, Love, Creativity, and Dreams, No Matter What. And that no matter what, of course, is the most important part of the title. You know, we can't let anything anybody says or any of our inner talk stop us from going for our dreams. And if we, um, I've always been a dreamer since I was a little kid, but not everybody is like that. And so it's also a book to encourage people to tap into that part of themselves. A lot of times the very things we like to do when we were kids, um, if we do them now, um, we find that we're our happiest. So um, this book is, just packed full of all kinds of inspiration and tools um, for getting back to the truth of who you really are. So then I wrote a play for kids. Peace begins with you and me. But I haven't had a chance to get it going in the schools because guess when I published it? So right before the closed. pandemic, I'm assuming. Just when I <laughs> <laughs> it was right when we were told we had to stay home. So, um, but it's kids will be in it and uh, adults will be in it and, and all that. So that's three books. And then during the pandemic, I wrote Peace Dreamer, A Journey of Hope in Bad Times and Good. I just felt like 
that was a message I really needed to get out, that we've always got to keep hope no matter how messy life gets. That's terrific. Um, would you happen to have a certain line that you'd like to read for us? Sure. I will uh, be happy to. I'll just read the first paragraph, the preface, um, so you'll get an idea of the core of where this came from. Dear friend, thank you for inviting Peace Dream home and heart. My book of hope was written from the part of my soul that believes in the goodness of people and our ability to change, heal, and grow. I have faith that we have the power to find common ground amid adversity, shift from fear to love, and embody the core values of kindness, compassion, empathy, and respect. I will always envision the possibility of living in a world of peace, diversity, celebration, and love, no matter what. So. That's terrific. Sounds like a nice book to uh, put a smile on people's faces. Yeah, and um, it's loaded with, it's, it's a spiritual book, but it's also a very grounding book because it's just loaded with um, things that we can do when we, you know, on our good days and on our bad days. Uh, things that we can um, turn to, healing healing techniques. So, you know, user-friendly, quick things. That's terrific. Uh, where can people purchase this book or find more information about the book or find more information about you? Oh, um, let's see. My website is CherylMelly.com. And this book can be found on Amazon. It's in paperback. It's now uh, Kindle. And uh, right now I'm offering three free um, paperbacks signed uh, on Goodreads. So there's a contest going on until April 20th. Um, and then internationally, it's being sold um, by Ingram Spark. So anyone anywhere can go into a bookstore and ask for this and um, the distributor will get it through Ingram Spark. But basically it's on Amazon and um, I miss not being able to do a book presentation at the library. I did a, a did a wonderful, um, enjoyed it so much doing Heart Dreamer at the Hopkins and Library. And um, one of these days that'll happen again. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a Zoom presentation or just wait till I can be somewhere in person, you know? Well, hopefully soon enough, we'll all be able to be together in person. Uh, yeah. But uh, Cheryl, we want to thank you for taking the time to talk with us about your new book. And um, thank you for having me. Yeah, we'll certainly uh, have you back in the future. Keep us informed of everything uh, going on. And uh, be sure to check out the website, folks. Uh, some great reads on there. And uh, Cheryl, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thanks for caring and interviewing me. I appreciate it.